Hey precious souls, I just want to pop on here and talk to you about something that is coming up for me so much this week. I hope you guys are having a great week. I want to talk to you about, are you trusting yourself? Do you trust yourself? This has come up with so many of my clients. It came up for me, with me um, in my life for decades and I was not taught how to trust myself. So I just want to do a little Q&A here on trusting yourself, on knowing how to look within for answers instead of looking outside. So I just want to check in with you. So on a daily basis, like the last time you had to make any decision, did you, um, hey you guys, I can see who's here. Last time you had to make a decision, did you turn inwards and think and ask yourself like, what do I want? What do I need? Or did you, do you consistently, or did you go outside and ask for someone else's opinion and follow their opinion over looking inside for your own answers? All right. So this is a big one, especially for women. I think that we were taught as women to, um, second guess ourselves, right? Okay. I'm the biggest believer in intuition. If you're a big believer for intuition, a bunch of you are waving at me. Hey, Corey. Hey, Jen. Um, you guys like intuition is the answer to me to like, almost every problem that I've been having. Cause if I would just learn to trust myself and like my voice within and my spirit within and the strength that I have within, I wouldn't have made so many choices that ended up being negative experiences for me. Because how many times have you done something and then later you're like, I knew better. Later you're like, I knew that was gonna happen or something happened, you're like, God, I knew it. So that is your intuition coming through and your intuition. So I had this, uh, this conversation today with my son and we were going and buying something and talking about like what he really wanted and I was asking him just to use his imagination. He's like, but mom, when I do something, it's just like whatever comes to the top of my head and what if I'm just using what comes to the top of my head and I'm like, Oh my God, that is actually your intuition. Whatever comes to the top of your head first is actually your spirit's voice. It's actually your intuition. It's the divine wisdom that's actually that you were born with that God placed in you when you were a little bitty baby. You came in with this beautiful, divine, brilliant knowledge inside of you. And when you immediately have a thought off the top of your head, that is your spirit talking to you. The first thought that comes through before you have a chance to unthink it is your spirit's voice. All right. When you have a chance to unthink it, here's what we're doing. We end up running the thought the, the impulse, the spiritual guidance, which is your off the top of the head thought. When we're running it through our monkey mind and we run it through our, um, our, 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 our thinking patterns and we overanalyze, what we start doing is we start pulling old belief systems. Okay. So our first thought comes out of, um, comes out of intuition. It comes out of, um, impulse, which is your spiritual guidance. Your mind is going to go back to a place of, of, of a filter of old belief systems, which can sound like, uh, you're not meant to have fun. You're not smart enough to make this decision. Oh, uh, be careful. The worst thing could happen. Um, what if, what if, what if, um, you're not worthy of this. Don't trust yourself. And so we get kind of, not even kind of, we get brainwashed when we're younger that we're not supposed to trust ourselves and that we're supposed to turn outside for all of our answers. But if we would just trust that first impulse that comes off the top of our head, that first like guided instinct from our internal guidance system, I guarantee you guys, you would be right. Like every single time. Now I'm not against mentors. I'm not against checking in with your, you know, the people that you trust. I'm not against asking for your mom's opinion, your teacher's opinion, your friend's opinion, those that know you, especially if you're in a place where you're feeling super contracted because maybe, um, you just had a really bad day or a breakup or you're feeling really down about yourself and you can't get clear. Like those are good times to bring in somebody else that knows you really well. And that's going to give you, um, their own belief, their own thoughts. Now don't forget, this is huge. Every single person that gives you an opinion about something, doesn't matter what, but let's, we're talking about what you should be doing in your life. Every single person that gives you <laughs> advice, that gives you their opinion is going to do what we call projection. So when you project and you're giving someone an answer, projection is you're actually running it through your own belief system, your own experiences, your own fears, and you're going to, you're going to always a hundred percent of the time give the person you're talking to, <coughs> excuse me, an answer based on your own fears. Based, which is based on your own experience, all right? We can't help it. We just do it. That's how we're wired psychologically. Um, so like example, if you're asking for, um, for uh, insight on relationships, I'm a single lady, so I'm always asking for advice on relationships. Um, I always have to stop and remind myself, even though people mean well, like I love my friends. Some of my friends are on here. Like I, I love the advice I get, but I always stop and I'm like, okay, car. Like if something doesn't feel right to me when it comes in, I'm like, don't forget, like they're giving you advice based on their own experiences. So maybe if they were lied to or if they were cheated on or if they, you know, were abandoned or whatever, they're always going to feed you what they think could happen in a catastrophic way because they love you and they want you to be protected, but they're going to give you, um, 
filtered advice through their own shit. Okay, that's just what we do. Um, and you're gonna do the same thing to everybody else, all right? But don't forget, when you're in a relationship or you're in an experience, maybe it's at work, whatever the experience is that you're in right now that you feel confused about, and by the way, confusion is an illusion. That came in through my meditation the other day and they keep telling me to teach that because the confusion that we feel is actually us having a wrestling match with our monkey minds or with other people's opinions or with um, something that doesn't feel like it lines up because uh, we know deep down what we're supposed to be doing and a lot of us some, uh, oftentimes we're fighting it all right so when you are faced with that choice when you're trying to figure out you know maybe who you're gonna be who's gonna be your roommate or oh uh, gosh um, who you're gonna be going out with, who you're gonna spend time with on the phone, give your energy to. Um, whenever you're giving part of yourself out, just check in with yourself and you will get a feeling, it's right here at your core, um, that is your your emotional guidance system and it's gonna give you a feeling, all right? Your feelings, your emotions are always 100% of the time your spirit's voice. And sometimes that comes off as a thought off the top of your head. Um, sometimes it just comes off as, actually every time it comes off just as a feeling. And it's your immediate feeling before you have a chance to overanalyze and get yourself worked up in a tizzy of fear, all right? That is your monkey mind giving you a feeling. The initial feeling that you have when you pose a question to yourself is your emotional guidance system. It's your spirit talking to you from your inside. It's your wisest self, all right? And that is the knowledge. You know, you have a lot of you that's still like, um, and this is kind of woo-woo for some of you, but I'm just gonna tell you. Um, the teaching I listen to, they call it non-physical. So you have a, I'm doing this because you have a higher self that is still connected to God, that is still existing like in an angelic form that's always talking to you. So are your angels, so are your guides, so is God. You know, and you have loved ones that have passed on that if you'd like them to support you, they support you too. So you're getting guidance all the time. And a lot of time that guidance will communicate to you through um, just off the wall thoughts. They'll communicate to you in your dreams. And, they're, and they'll give you signs all the time. You guys know I'm huge on signs. Like don't, don't turn down your signs. If you think something is a sign meant for you, not if it's a sign that contracts you or scares you, okay? They're not throwing scary signs at you, like be warning warning, you know, Wicked Witch of the West, they're not doing that. They're sending you positive light, positive guidance, especially if you're asking for it. You know, lately I've been seeing a million butterflies and I've been going, I just had a breakup last weekend that like totally threw me off and I was really worried, but I did things differently. And so I've been scared because it's just, I don't know, I, I never know if things are going to work out with anybody. I get scared I made the wrong choice because I had to let somebody go that really hurt me. And what's been coming to me this week, like coming up into my windows, are butterflies, all right? So you guys know, what's, what is a butterfly a sign of? It's not rocket science. It's a sign of change, right? Because a butterfly has changed from the caterpillar and um, a butterfly has changed and shown that transformation is not only possible, it is part of this animal's life cycle. And it's the same thing for us. So like right now this week, this butterfly, when I've been walking, I've, it's these monarch butterflies. They've been just like literally right in front of me constantly. And so I, I can either just say, oh, they're just like all over the place right now. Oh, another butterfly and just like dismiss it. Or I can stop for a second, which is what I do. And I say, what's the message? And immediately, whatever word comes up is your message before you have a chance again to unthink it. All right. So the other day I was talking um, to a friend on the, on the phone and this butter, and I was talking about the situation with this breakup or something that was confusing me, fear that was coming up. And this butterfly literally came in front of the window, right in front of my face, flapped a few times and went off. And I was like... I knew in that moment that what I was discussing, what I was facing, it was gonna be something of a transformation in my life. And it was a sign to me, just like all of this is for you, and I'm not just telling you this to tell you about my signs. I'm telling you this because I want you to pay attention to your signs. Don't dismiss them. I for a second said, what's the sign? And immediately it was like, what you're doing right now, Karin, <clears throat> is, is the catalyst to change. Just hang in there because your butterfly wings are gonna sprout again and it's gonna be so much better than it was before. Just trust, just trust, all right? So as you're going off with your night, you're going off with your weekend and your week, I want you to pay attention to the first impulse that you have. Pay attention to the signs, especially nature creatures, like your guides and your angels and God, and I mean, God is nature, by the way, like that's the living breath of, of God. When you're in nature, when you're just walking to your mailbox or when you're just like you're going into the yard, you're taking your trash out, whatever it is when you're outside and you see a little critter. Other day I was in my front, um, on my front step and I went out to pray because I was feeling especially low and I just sat, I have a creek in my front yard and I sat on the the um, little steps to just pray and I looked down and there was this little snail like slithering across and for a minute I wanted to just pick him up and do like an ooh thing because you know they leave that little um, slime trail <laughs> but I stopped for a minute and I'm like Karin like check in I said what is the message and I posted it on Instagram some of you may have seen it um, this was like a month ago 
And the message immediately for me came through and it was, take your time, like give yourself a break, the snail moves slowly, it's always a metaphor, you guys. Just always check in. So the message that came through, take your time. And it also reminded me that the snail has like its house on its back. So the, the second message that came through was like the snail has everything it needs. It has its house. It's in my, and I don't hear it audibly, although I'm asking for that. Um, I feel it in my spirit. So the next message that came through was um, you have everything you need. Like take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. And you have everything you need. Just move at your own pace. How beautiful is that? Like, I love getting messages like that. So when you see a creature, if one crosses your path, like don't dismiss it, just stop for a second and just say, what's the message? And immediately whatever pops in, just see your mind open up and your heart open up and accept the message that comes in. And if, if you think it's silly, even more so trust it because they love to play with you too. Like they love to give you that little, it's always gonna be reassuring. It's always gonna be about love. It's always gonna be about support. All right, so I want you to tune into your messages to help you trust yourself. I want you to stop asking for everyone's opinion for your final answer, all right? Remember the show that was like, is that your final answer? Don't run it through your monkey mind a million times and overanalyze it. Just sit down. Here's what I've learned to do with myself. When I am making a decision, I have learned to ask the simple question, and actually I heard this in a um, Andy Stanley sermon like five years ago, and I love it, um, is what do you really want? I mean, it literally is like the simplest question, but I stop and I ask myself, and it takes three times asking. Um, look at my nails, look. I popped that one off two days ago. These are mom nails, some of them are half and half. Anyway, I digress. Um, I stop and ask myself, um, Karin, what do you want? Like, um, like say a bunch of friends are going to have dinner. Nobody knows where they want to go. I will stop and say, because we're all, like, no, everyone's afraid to make the decision because we don't want to make anyone mad. You ladies know what I'm talking about. We're afraid because we're afraid someone's not going to like it and we're afraid of, of being seen as selfish. It's ridiculous what we do. So I will stop and I'll just say, Karin, like, what do you want? And immediately, like, I'll think, oh, what does everybody else want? Then I'll stop and I'll say, what do you want? And I'll picture myself, and this is a simple question, but it, you all go through it. I picture myself sitting at different restaurants. I let the, the options come up in my head, and I picture the food or the ambiance, and I just say, literally, and I'll picture myself there, and I also know, like, you know, I don't want to run into any exes, or maybe I do, or I don't want to run into any, like, drama. Definitely don't want to do that. I want to go somewhere where there's going to be fun. Maybe I'll have a, a rendezvous or meet somebody exciting. You know, you just never know. And so I check in. This is what I do, and this is, it's about manifesting. It's about checking energy. It's about trusting your spirit. I'll picture myself sitting in the restaurant or the coffee shop or the grocery store, wherever I'm trying to decide to go, and I'll just say, which one do I want? What do I really want to do? And I picture myself sitting there and I get a feeling. And it's either an up or a down. There's either a check saying eh, or there's like a hmm, like, like an expanded feeling. Not overwhelming, but just like, I get. it's called an impulse, right? Like you guys all know an impulse. Like, let me just check that out. And so then I'll tell my friends, hey, why don't we go to this place? I think this sounds really fun. Um, when you're by yourself and you're trying to figure out where to go to buy your groceries or to get your coffee, like that's another time when you just picture yourself in the store because you guys... The universe, God, is always lining up rendezvous, opportunities, experiences. Maybe you'll see something happen with a, a mother and their child that's going to expand you that day and make you feel good. Maybe you're going to see a post on the wall that is something that you've been waiting to see. Maybe there's going to be a sign somewhere for you where you're going to see an old friend. Trust your impulses because when you're asking the universe to line you up and to guide you along the path that is meant for you, the universe is so waiting for permission to help you. God, I mean, whatever word you want to use, I use source, I use God, I use angels, I use the universe. It's all the same thing. It's all a source of God love energy, okay? And it is lining you up all the time. If you, thank you, Doris. If you are asking, oh yeah, Marie, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting to wave at you. And Penny Ray, hi, thank you for being here. It's always waiting to guide you. Like it is waiting to guide you. Trust the way you feel. Trust the first impulse that you have. Trust how you feel when you picture yourself in certain situations. And that is your guidance. Ask your angels and your guides to guide you if you believe in them. If not, ask your higher self to guide you. Ask nature to guide you. Guide you. And then don't dismiss the feelings and the impulse and the guidances when they show up. They are 100% of the time showing up for you. If you knew how much divine universal love was focused on you all the time, 100% of your days, you would be so amazed. You would never worry about anything. You have so much divine love. You have a divine team around you all the time. Whether you believe it or not, I believe it enough for all of us. I know because I've heard them. I've seen them in shadow form. I see them as orbs in my videos. They're here, you guys. Like There's no mistaking that. 
I have a lot of friends who can see them and I think it's awesome. Um, ask for the guidance and then trust when it shows up. All right, you guys, I want you to learn to trust your intuition because your intuition is your spirit's voice. I love you guys so much. I'm going to jump off because I'm going to go figure out what restaurant I want to go to tonight with my friend. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Have a great weekend. And um, I'm going to hop back on here in a couple days and talk about something else that is super expanding and that's going to help us all grow. Remember, you guys, always lead with your heart. Always follow your heart and your, intu your intuition because you're always going the right way when you do it. Bye, you guys. I'm trying to log off. There we go.